I will hire another maid, and Lucy can be my companion. Oh, but that's much more suitable. And I'm afraid you'll dislike it, but she says that she and Tom Branson have agreed to correspond. <laughs> dislike it? I will lick the stones myself. <laughs> So that's a scene from the highly anticipated Downton Abbey movie. It opens here on September 20th, but today is very special because we're talking with the show's creator who wrote and produced the film's screenplay. Joining us now is Academy and Emmy winning writer Julian Fellows. So this series has been such a hit. So many people just simply obsessed with the show. For you, what would make the movie a win? Well, uh, I mean, um it has been an extraordinary experience, actually, as you can obviously imagine, really, from the start. Uh, but we did know that when we were going to make a movie, we had to somehow give them more than just more of the show. And so we've tried to make it a kind of bigger, brighter, bolder experience with all the familiar faces, with all the warmth uh, of the house and everything, but more. So we've chosen a subject for the story of the King and Queen's visit, which allows us to expand and have great parades and balls and banquets and everything else all going on. And at the center of it is the house Downton, one of the main characters, as it always has been, but photographed as you've never seen it before. So I think they will enjoy it. Well, I hope so anyway. Well, it does sound like a remarkable story. Uh, when you created the series back in 2010, did you ever think that it would become what it is today? Oh, I don't think so in my <laughs> wildest dreams. I mean, I thought it was a good show, but you have to remember at that time, period drama was out of fashion. And the sort of general thinking was that the audience for period drama had gone away. And mercifully, Peter Fincham at ITV didn't believe that. And so he got behind the show. But all we were hoping for, what we were striving for, was to gain a reasonable audience. Uh, and of course, we had a fantastic cast, which I thought then and think now it's one of the main reasons for our success. But that was what we were after. It was only after we'd launched and opened and we started to get a bigger and bigger and bigger audience. And then, of course, the following year when America came on board, that we began to have an inkling of what we had on our hands, really. So when you actually create and produce a period piece, is that sort of different than if you're doing a regular drama or is it the same preparation? Well, it's the same preparation for everything in a way, but of course, the details of a period drama are very demanding. Mm -hmm. The costumes, making sure every article in the room does not post-date the drama. And so you have to be very, very meticulous in all of that. We're very lucky in our costume designer, uh, Anna Robbins, who has this extraordinary vision. She buys original 1920s dresses and then disassembles them, takes them apart and uses the panels of embroidery or the cuffs or the this or the that in newly made pieces. And so the result is really overwhelming. I think uh, Mary's clothes, particularly in the film, are tremendously glamorous and I think people will enjoy them. Well, thank you so much, Julian. We cannot wait to see the film and of course to follow what else is coming next. Bill?